Wanasema bahari haivukwi kwa kugelea bahari ambayo kwa wengi imejaa ndoto na maono si haba lakini kwa wakazi wa kisiwa cha Lamu safari ya kupata afueni imewaacha kutanabahi kuhusu mustakabali wao sio bahari kuja mawimbi ya matatizo hata kovu za kupigania haki zao zimewandama si haba ni mfano wa kipekee itakuwa ni case study ya kipekee ambapo itakuja kuleta mambo ya kiajabu na sisi tunaogopa sana kisiwani kuna mgeni hiyo factory ambayo itakuwa pale ni kama factory moja size ya kampuni ya Kenjen je mkazi ataenziwa kwa ujio wa mgeni au itakuwaje kama kuni mtu utamwendea ni Mungu umwende na wewe useme Mungu nilikosea jamii ya Lamu kwa hivyo naomba unisamehe jina langu ni Hussein Mohamed na hii ni simulizi ya kadhia inayohusu ujenzi wa kituo cha kuzalisha nishati kupitia makaya mawe kaunti ya Lamu Afadhali kuvumilia joto kuliko msiba ndio taswira iliyotanda katika jopo kazi hili la mazingira linalochunguza ujenzi wa kituo cha kuzalisha nishati kupitia makaya mawe kwa kimombo Coal Power Project Vita vya maji eh, water resource conflict na hofia itakuja kutokeza na we will be living in peace and harmony in our country Mradi kama huu ukija utaathiri samaki viumbe hai baharini. Si ukweli kwamba sisi tuna uwezo wa kuzuia hayo ambayo yatakuja kujitokeza. Thick vegetation ambayo may exist katika maeneo yetu itapotea. Itakuwa inapotea Kovu za masaibu ya memkaba mzee Muhammad Athman machozi ya wahka na hofu ya kimtirika mzee huyu anapotoa ushairi wake kuhusu mradi mpya wa makaya mawe ambao umewacha wakazi hapa chini ya kivuli chochopo kazi hili Ahmed Athman alikuwa mmoja wa wakazi waliohusisha kesi hii mbele ya jopo hili. Si wakazi wana harakati au hata wanachama wa jopo hili. Macho yote yanaangazia matukio haya wa kina. Lakini miradi ambayo ni conducive to our environment, conducive to our culture, conducive to our diversity. We value it. We embrace it. It is ours, it belongs to us and it will remain with us. No one can come and distort it. Kwa hivyo tusiweke tamaa ya mapesa mengi mbele kumaliza wananchi. Na kama wasemavyo wahenga, waridi uzungukwa na miba ndani ya mandhari haya tulivu na marithawa, matukio yamebadilika. Mabango yaliyoweka wazi dhamira yao na sauti za kupinga mradi huu zikiwa mbiu ya mgambo hapa. Maandamano yakifuliza katika eneo la Lamu Fort ambapo shughuli nzima inaendelea. Tutazaa watoto ambao watakuwa ni viwete na wenye akili punguani kwa sababu ya mradi huu ndugu zangu. Ikiwa hujaichoma vizuri moshi wake unaweza kuwa kuna kiji kitu kama somo hivyo. Kwa hivyo tukiwa tunatarajia kwamba tutaanza kutumia call Kenya hii. Ni mpaka tuangalie call tunaipata ikoje na tutaichoma namna gani ili madhara yake ambayo yanaweza kutokezea kwa binadamu tuyapunguze. Sio kusema kwamba call si kitu kizuri. Ikitumiwa vizuri, 
na tukiweka kila kitu ambacho kinatakiwa kiwekwe kisawa sawa hii pengine itakuwa ni jambo moja ambalo tumefanya ili tupate uh, energy vizuri je chimuko la swala hilo ni lipi na je itifaki na sheria ilifuatwa katika ujenzi unaotarajiwa wa mradi huu wa makaa ya mawe kwa miezi kadhaa meza uchunguzi ya KTA News imelizamia swala hili huku safari yetu ikianza na kitovu cha mradi huo eneo la kwa sasi Kilomita 80 kutoka kisiwani Lamu ardhi hii ya takriban ekari 975 ndio upeo wa utata unaotikisa kaunti hii ya Lamu Kampuni ya Amu Power iliyoshinda zabuni ya serikali ndio inatarajiwa kusimamia ujenzi wa mradi huu hapa kampuni hiyo inashirikisha kampuni nyingine mbili ile ya Gulf Energy na Centum Investment Tarehe 11 Mei mwaka 2017 jopo kazi linachunguza swala la makaa ya mawe ilifika hapa kwa sasi likijumuisha washikadau na mawakili Thabira ku sasa kujua pia kufahamu kwa nini kuna uh, kinabisi kwa kwa in light of the surrounding environment kwa sana Eneo hili la kwa sasa linasifia ukulima kaunti ya Lamu. Wengi wanaoishi hapa wakiwa wakulima. Lakini pia kuna wageni walionunua ardhi hapa na wanatarajia kupata natija ya ridhaa hiyo kwa mradi wenyewe utaoananga. Mtazamo wa wengi wanapinga mradi. Lakini kuna wachache wenzetu ambao wana zile ardhi. Na ujue Lamu ni sehemu ya watu ambao ni maskini sana. Na kwa sababu ya mradi wa Lapset eka ya ardhi ilikuwa inauzwa like, milioni moja na nusu wenzetu kadhaa walinufaika pale so mradi huu ulipokuja automatically kila mtu akawa na epi anataka kulipwa kwa hivyo ukisikia sauti ya watu ambao wana, wanaunga ni wale ambao wana ardhi na ilipokuwa kabla ya mradi walikuwa ni wachache watu waposikia kuwa pale kutalipwa watu wakakimbia walamu na nje ya lamu kwenda kununua vipande vile kwa bei rahisi ili serikali ikija iwalipe kwa bei ghali ni haki yao si sawa mpaka dakika hii wakulima wa kasasi miaka mitatu hawajalipwa ridhaa wamesumbuliwa they have been evicted there and they cannot do anything imetempa our food security kama lamu community kwa sababu hapo ndo kwa dependency ya mambo ya chakula kuja lamu simsimi na kuja maembe yanakuja mihogo inakuja kwa baadhi ya mawakili na washikadau imani na matumaini yalidhihirika ila kwa wengine ilikuwa ni hofu na wasiwasi wavuvi wanasema wakati hayo makaa ya mawe yatakuwa kimetoa hapa anaweza kuwa na athari fulani ya, ya kimazingira ambayo itaadhirika si yao ya uvuvi tutakuwa pia tunaonesha kwamba mradi huu ambao uko chini ya kilomita moja kutoka kwa bahari kuu utakuwa na, ma, na athari kubwa kwa viumbe ambao vina, vinaishi kwenye bahari ambavyo hutegemewa na wavuvi kama vile samaki tutakuwa tunaonesha kwamba mradi huu pia utakuwa unakata mikoko ambayo kisheria inatakikana ilindwe na serikali haya ya kijiri tarehe 16 mwezi wa Mei mwaka huu siku tatu baada ya jopo hili kukamilisha shughuli yake hapa Lamu mjini Beijing Uchina Rais Uhuru Kenyatta akaidhinisha mkataba wa shilingi bilioni 206 uliotiwa saini kati ya kampuni mbili ili ya Amu Power na China Power Global <tos> Thank you.
kisiwani Lamu ndio mkoko unaalika maua safari yangu na wavuvi pamoja na wanaharakati baharini inanipa hali halisi ya hisia za wavuvi hapa tangu mwaka wa 2011 hawajafanya uvuvi usiku kupitia marufuku iliyokuwa lakini ujio wa mgeni huyu ambaye ni mradi wa makao mawe ni ule uliojaa hisia mseto najua kwamba mradi huo kuna watu ambao wanaelewa zaidi kujua kwamba wana madhara tunasikia kwamba wengine wasema wana madhara wengine wasema waweza kudhibitiwa madhara hao siwezi kuelewa na nimekuwa na mkutano ni mara kadhaa kwa lafsi wa ni lamu power nimeenda lakini katika mazungumzo yangu sikuzungumza hivi kwamba kukubali au kupinga la nilisema kama una madhara la hatuna haja nao hao una madhara kwa nchi kwa chuo ni faida mradi kulingamana hali ilivyo ya kimaisha na maendeleo ya sisi wananchi naweza kukuambia kwamba ni sawa Ishaq Abu Bakar mwanarakati wa kundi la Sevlamu ni mwenye machungu mengi mradi wa makawa mawe anautaja kuwashubiri kwa kazi wa kisiwa hiki kwa nini serikali isisimame kideti na wananchi wa Lamu wakati sisi tunasema kwamba huu mradi ni mbaya, huu mradi una maafa, huu mradi utakuja kuua jamii, huu mradi utakuja kuua kizazi cha baadaye wakati katiba article 42 imesema kwamba kila mtu ana haki ya kuishi katika mazingira safi katika hali ya sasa ya present and for the future generation. That means for the future generation hata kama madhara ya mradi wa koli atakuja baada ya miaka mia moja hapo future generation ndio mali inaingilia almost every country in the world is trying to decommission coal mining in fact coal mining is now in its last kicks almost everywhere in the world if you read uh, the literature indeed uh, the people who are hanging on it mostly were india and china but they are also trying to to reduce that in fact india is basically almost trying to finish it very very quickly uh, china might stay a bit but china has also realized because of the pollution brought by by coal they have realized it is undermining other other you know it's undermining their very very own development you see you have you must develop systematically you know so it is a big surprise to see anybody suggesting that we need to do coal uh, coal plant here and was so we don't even uh, <laughs> we don't have our coal mines we import coal then come to make energy it doesn't make sense world leading economies including the united states france and canada have recently resile, uh, decided to completely close down their coal fired capacity even china uh, one of the most polluted countries in the world is now very strongly limiting um, coal fired power plants and uh, upgrading its uh, emission standards to a much higher level than uh, than are proposed to be used what you need is an energy mix already kenya we are way above almost 50% of all our energy comes from green sources so we have no risk of exceeding our limit in terms we are, we are not even anywhere near tunaelewa na watu alamu so let us take time ni mradi wenye shida na kuyaleta madhara wala muhatu taki kabisa tumekata Waiomba serikali itilie manani njia ya utungo wa kisanaa ikisalia kuwa suluhu hapa malenga huyu akidhani shairi hili kuwaonya na kutoa tahadhari katika jamii hii na hata serikali viongozi mbalimbali wa serikali ya Kenya tunawaomba tafadhali mradi uondoke mvuto wa kuandika nasema ni hofu iliyotanda katika kiswa hiki tulielezee katika semina tofauti sababu tunaambiwa kwamba watu watawakiwa na mimba akina mama zetu watakuwa wakizaa watoto ambao bila shaka watakuwa ni vilema 
na pia tulisikia kwamba yatakuja magonjwa mengi sana kama vile kensa, maradhi tofauti tofauti sasa tukaona sisi kama wananchi wa Lamu fadhali tupinge mradi kama huu siwezi kuletwa hapa katika kaunti ya Lamu kwa wengi wao hii ni taswira ya walala hoi kuishi chini ya kibuli cha walala hai sisi twategemea mikoko ukiona Lamu iko safe ni mikoko Ukiona other islands ziko safe ni mikoko. Leo mpaka sasa hivi Lapset ilikuja ikafanya destruction ya almost 5 acres ya mikoko. Tumeenda Mbio, Nema, Forest wapi bure. Shida nini the under government? Ukenda kwa Nesh, eh, Kenya National Commission on Human Rights, shida nini wa kwa government? Ukenda kwa idara ya corruption, shida nini wa kwa government? Sisi tunaelekea wapi? Niko na wasiwasi mkubwa sana. Lakini tafauti kwa sina hofu. Wasiwasi ni kuna wasiwasi mkubwa. E, nikiongea yale ambayo ninahisi kuyaongea baadaye kutakuwa na repercussion nyingi sana. Lakini nashukuru sina hofu sababu mimi tayari najua nimezaliwa na najua nita, nitakuwa kwa muda na najua nitaondoka kwa jamii. Wakati wote. Sasa sibabu sijui itakayoniondosha mimi kwenye jamii. Na nikiongea hivi nyinyi mwajua sahi wa activist wangapi wameuawa katika taifa hili la Kenya na bila kujulikana uh, uh, I mean kujulikana sababu ya wao kuuawa sio hayo tu kulingana na misimamo walichukua kuhusu miradi tofauti hapa Lamu madai ya kundi la Save Lamu waunga wanamgambo wa Alshabab yaliibuka na twashangaa baadaye kutuambia sisi tumeshtumiwa kwa sisi tumechangia tukio lile lakini sisi kama wa, wa shirika tumefahamu hizi ni intimidation ambazo zimechangiwa wakati sisi tulipos, tulipopiga marufuku na mradi wa call tuliposema sisi hatutaki mradi wa call sasa wameangalia wame njia ya kutupatia ya kutufanyia ya kutufanyia hizo vituko ili sisi tuweze simama tuweze kuwa compromise na kuweza kus, kusema basi sisi hatutaongea tena dhidi ya mradi wa call Upande wa pili shairi mwingine raya famao wanaapishwa kutoa na yajua mbele ya jopo kazi hili nesti wa agosti ambao ulikuwa ni kudadisi ile taarifa ilikuwa imetolewa kuhusu mazingira let's have let's ya wanawake hapa Alifika hadi Afrika Kusini kuangalia shughuli ya makaya mawe na viondelea Kule ambako tulitembelea walikuwa kwa wanafanya dry cooling system wanamwaga uchafu ndani ya ardhi na tumeenda kujishuhudia wenyewe ardhi yenyewe vile ilivyochomeka Huku wanasema wanafanya wet cooling system ambayo uchafu utakuwa unaenda kwa bahari Na bahari sisi si lamu tu ni rasilimali ya wapwani wote kwa hivyo wakati bahari itakapokuwa itapokuwa haribika ni kuharibu uchumi wa bahari. Kwa hivyo wavuvi wengi nao pia hawako tayari kwa mradi mbaya kama huu. KTN News ilifanikiwa kupata picha za kipekee za shughuli nzima ya mradi wa ujenzi wa bandari ya Lamu inavyoendelea. Mradi huu ukiongozwa na kampuni ya Uchina. Mchakato mzima umeonekana kupata vizingiti sio hapa nchini tu bali hata mataifa jirani kujiondoa. Kwa baadhi ya wavuvi na wakazi hapa shughuli hii itaadhiri mazingira kisiwani hususan maeneo ya mikoko au kipenda mangroves. Very high temperature water that will be released into the ocean that according to estimates it will raise sea water temperature to by 3 degrees celsius if that happens then your problems in mangroves because mangroves are very very sensitive to to temperature changes 
they are already being affected by climate change. But here you have induced, you know, another, another thing. Mambo mingi sana wakataja zile faida. Na wakasema, there is no mitigation measures ya mangrove. Hakuna. Wezi kuniambia, utakuja na mradi wako wa kolu kwa sasi, eh? ama uje na mradi wako wa lapset hapo, uchimbe mikoko hiyo, ambayo mikoko hiyo msitu umemea wenyewe, alafu uniambie mitigation measures, hatu utaenda kunipandia kipungani. Huko ni kuchezeana akili. Kwa nile yenye umengoo, ulipanda ni wewe. So, hakuna mitigation measures ya mangrove at all. Sio baharini tu, ujio huo umefika hali katika majukua ya siyasa. Kenjen today produces 1,000 megawatts. This amu power here will produce 960 megawatts. So, tukisema tunawaletea Kenjen a whole company, ije lamu hii, na sisi, hapana wanyama, sisi ni binadamu wana. Hatuwezi kulete kitu hapa ambaye itakuja kuumiza watoto wa hapa. Kwa sababu watoto wa hapa ni watoto wa Kenya. Umekataliwa huo mradi, Your Excellency Wakol. Hata ripoti ya nema haijatoka kutueleza madhara wala faida yake. Kwa hivyo hatutaki huo mradi Your Excellency mpaka mambo ya wekwe kama kawaida. Sasa hii yo excellency kuna wakulima 600 pale mradi unakuja kuletwa na wanaolipwa ni watu 11 peke yao. Why? Sasa hii yo excellency valuation ya government imesema ule mradi wale beneficiaries wa land watalipwa 2 million per acre. Wanaambiwa mara wanalipwa 700 mara milioni moja na nusu. Why? Rais anakuja hapa Anambia watu, hakuna mtu anaweza pinga mbradi, mupende, musipende, hiyo koli, lazima, iwe, lazima, oo, oh, natunesha picha gani. This is the only way, yenye, hivi, hakuna, hakuna tofauti na venye tuwele wakuta, tuwele kuenda kukuta South Africa. Eh? Wale wanajita Earth Ground, wanaenda mbio, wanampeleka naibu wa raisi kotini kwa sababu wameweka coal mining, ambao imeleta destruction na imeleta madhara, na ya naonyesha hii hapa nimefunga, lakini nimefungua ingine kubwa zaidi. Atuko katika kushindana na evu. Atuwezi kushindana na nyinyi. Serikali atuwezi kushindana na nyinyi. Lakini fikirieni maisha ya wananchi wenu. This is a concern. Uh, call, as I said, uh, is controversial. Uh, there are issues. Uh, uh, I'm also hoping that the national government will also come in. We environment are quite clear that coal is dirty. There's no such thing as clean coal. Uh, but this is a decision that has been made uh, for the energy requirement. Fauka Yahayo, Waziri wa Utali na Mali Asli County Alamo, Samia Omar, Aliji Uzulu Kutoka Wadifa Waki. Akitaja Athari Zamradi Huo, Kuo Chanzo, Nakusakua Reporti Yahal Mashauri ya Mazingira Nema, Haikuwa Sayi. Shirika la mazingira nchini Kenya Nema limetoa kitabu nya kurasa elfu moja. Kurasa zoweka wazi kuhusu mradi wa makaya mao kipenda kool katika kaunti hii ya lamu. Lakini wakazi wa eno hili wamasilia kuna maswali mengi kuliko majibu. Sisi tunalaumu Nema kwa kupiana license. Tunalaumu Nema kabisa kwa sababu iyo environmental impact assessment yao enyo wametoa. Ni kitabu kubwa sana. It's a very huge book. Lakini tulingangana tukishirikiana na WWF wakatupeleka mahali tukakaa chini tukajadili hiyo kitabu tukakagua hiyo kitabu tuka review tukakuta kwamba kuna matatizo ndani sana it's like copy and paste sisi hata mara nyingi kuna mahali wakati katika wa, wa, katika comments zetu tulisema wali copy and paste kutoka kwa report ya lapset kwa sababu ni kama inafanana we had to get a consultant to come and help us even digest that uh, the NEMA report uh, that we the EA report that we received it was 1818 pages uh, and we were given 30 days uh, to read and make your comments so you can imagine uh, the challenge that we had but all in all that I'm hoping uh, uh, the national government and ourselves and NEMA itself should all play our roles. If you read again the factory, it's going to have a very, very long uh, stack, kind of a chimney. Now, 
the whole theory is to take as much far <laughs> the toxins to the hair, isn't it? But that is really, to me, nonsense. Because by the end of the day, they also descend down once they are released there. Those carbon dioxide and some of those gases are heavy gases. So they have to go down to the bottom. So this is a way of just convincing people that, uh, you know, we have taken this thing very far, we can't see it, isn't it? And they do from there to go to heaven, maybe. <laughs> so, I mean, um, and that is something we say, uh, you know, doesn't solve the problem. A coal-fired power plant of this size uh, would emit as much air pollutants as several million cars. And that has very significant uh, uh, impacts on public health or a very large area, including places like Garissa and Boy, that are quite far away from the power plant. I estimate that the total health impacts over the lifetime of the project would be uh, 1,600 premature deaths caused by exposure uh, to air pollution. Kulingana na kampuni ya Amo Power mradi huu utaleta ajira katika eneo hili pamoja na kuongeza nishati za umeme katika taifa la Kenya. Mwezi Juni mwaka huu tuliwaandikia barua kampuni ya Amo Power kutaka majibu kuhusu tuhuma na madai zilizotolewa na baadhi ya wanarakati katika kaunti ya Lamu na hata wakazi wa eneo hili. Lakini hadi kwa sasa hatujapata majibu. Sio tu kujiuzulu kwa waziri husika au hata madai ya kutajwa kwa kundi la alshabab sasa wengi wa wakazi lamu wanasema wamegubikwa na hofu na kusalia kwenye njia panda mpaka ikaja lamu ni kwamba tumeishi hapa kwa sababu ya darasilmali ambazo zimetuzunguka ni baharini ni ardhini leo hii kuja mradi kama huu itakuja kufieka hizi vitu hii ni plani ya kutoondoa sisi watu alamu tuadimike kabisa nchi hii ama kuna ajenda gani na watakapofika ukingoni wanasema suluhu ni moja tu. Lamu it has history. Na history siku zote huwa inajirudia. Sisi mara nyingi tukishindwa na tunapohisi ya kwamba tumeshindwa kwa sababu ya kudhalilishwa idhilali ya kutoka kwa upande wa serikali zaidi tunamwelekea Mungu. Na tukikuelekea Mungu yoyote yule ambao utakuwa ni wewe ni nani ni nani ndugu yangu ni wewe na Mungu sasa. Sisi na sisi tuko na njia zetu. Mm. Tutakupigia kisomo pale mkunguni tukuchinjia kondoo pale ukitoka hapo na wewe kama uko Nairobi uko wapi utoke ukiwa umerengwa kabisa mpaka ujiulize ni nini. Na huo kuna mali utahakuna mtu utamwendea. Kama kuna mtu utamwendea ni Mungu umwendee. Na wewe useme Mungu nilikosea jamii ya Lamu. Kwa hivyo naomba unisamehe na yaone kama atakusamehe. Eh. Hey. Sisi tukikosa namna ni Mungu. Uh, we want to baseline survey on health on air so that if suddenly when the thing the operation start and we find people suffering from uh, chest infections and what then we have something we can compare it. Before you came in these were the incidents. Now look at because everything end of the day will be, will be a matter of proof. Kisiwa cha Lamu kimekuwa upeo wa miradi tofauti lakini je wanalamu watasalia na ule msemo wa banyani mbaya kitu cha kedawa au watabaki upande wa wenyewe huli wana wenyewe when others are getting out it's like it's like you are told that is fine and beauty and when people are running out you are going in you, you just go. Kwa wengi haya ni maswali ya balaga lakini kwa wakazi wa Lamu wanataraji kauli zao azitapita kwa sikio la mini na kutoka kwa lile la shimali Usani Muhammad KTN News Makala maalum, harabu, ya lamu, kaunti ya lamu.